The company is a medical device company. We have roughly 1,100 employees. We produce here locally um, 4,300 plus catalog numbers um, to, to support primarily the arthroscopic surgery industry. The market um, is highly competitive these days. I mean, since the Affordable Health Care Act and, and there's been a lot of restructuring in the industry, and so really cost containment and innovation are those two themes that have really changed over the last five to eight years. Because we're dealing with a medical device, you know, we typically have, you know, it's someone's life in your hands. So the, the parts that we're making there have to uh, meet the print, have a very high consistency of uh, machine features, so they assemble very well and they produce the output that we need. Our biggest challenge is from a new product innovation development standpoint, how do we do, how do we keep on tightening up our development time? And that's through lead times. And so how do we do iterative processes early on in our development cycle that we can bring products faster to the customer? You know, when we look at, when we select a, a competitive partner, especially in the machine, machine tool area, we look at durability and we look at longevity of the products. And so part of our focus in our continuous improvement activities was this manufacturing flow of cells as we, we've been down this path probably 10 or 15 years. And so we want to maintain flexibility, we want to focus on setup, and we want to focus on durability and also training. And the Mazak machines are very precision, very repeatable. I mean, over time we've seen where technology has changed, we're getting uh, able to hold far more closer tolerances on a machine tool that we just purchased uh, today than what we had, you know, six or seven years ago. As technology um, improves, we're getting more and more uh, precision out of these machine tools. And Amazek has allowed us to, to do that and is a leader, I think, in this industry of doing that. And so the Amazek platform really is very robust for us. We can bring operators in with relatively easy training, and plus we can have the flexibility of Lay's Mills, et cetera, within a manufacturing flow cell to optimize our throughput through the process. The controls have a common platform on there. It makes it very easy for the operators to go from machine to machine to machine. We don't have an operator dedicated to one piece of equipment, one Mazak. You know, they may be running this Mazak this week here, next week they're running another piece of equipment. So having that common platform, that common characteristics layout uh, for the operators is very beneficial as we uh, cross train and rotate personnel throughout the factory. We are very tough on our pieces of equipment. We have a whole capital screening process, heavy emphasis on our DMAIC methodology, Ver you know, we do validations, verifications on our equipment, but at the end of the day we really focus on that durability. The expectation is some of this equipment is going to be running, you know, three shifts, 24 hours a day, non-stop. Usually the weekends are shut off, but sometimes we're even running the weekends, so it's a very, very high demand on our products. The reason we've chosen Mazak uh, over other suppliers, machine tools, is that relationship. Uh, the relationship with the, the service, relationship with the technical support. I, I think the, with Mazak, the, the key competitive advantage of the equipment is not only flexibility, but the setup side of it and plus the programming side of it. It seems to be relatively sweet to us. We've got 20 different pieces of equipment just in Rob's factory alone. We use multiple beyond that within the different factories we have within the business unit. Um, and, and so that it makes sense to have one partner with, the, with not only programming, but the, there's a comfort factor, the ease of use. But durability and setup is one of those main drivers. I mean, the, the Mazak piece of equipment, we've got some that are longer than 20 years here. And they're still producing three shift operations, so they're very, very durable. And so when you look at these, you, you look for the long term when you're making an invest, investment. It's not usually a two or three year process we're dealing with. We want to make sure the equipment is used for a long period of time. And once operators get trained on a Mazak piece of equipment, there is some flexibility associated with that. They can move from cell to cell. And there, there's an there's a ease of learning, if you will, because they're familiar with different Mazak pieces of equipment. <laughs>